Many years ago, I received a phone call from a Jack Katzen who was a senior vice president for AFCO. AFCO at the time was a $2 billion corporation that owned maybe 10 separate companies. And Jack called me, he said, Norman, you were recommended uh, as somebody close to me because he was in Greenwich, Connecticut, <clears throat> and I lived there. My company was very close by. And he says, Norman, I need help. I want you to teach me what does quality mean? It's become a real buzzword, a vogue word at that time. And so I came over and met with Jack, and we had a very good session. Then he said to me, Norman, what will you charge me? And I said, Jack, let me think about it. And I went back home, and I called a nephew of mine who worked with one of the large accounting firms, and I said, what does your senior partner get per, per day? And at that time, about 1983, he said they get $2,000 a day back then. Maybe today it's five or 10000 a day. And so I went back and saw Jack, and I said, how about 2000 a day? And Jack said, that sounds fair. And I was running the comp my company called Productivity, Productivity Press, but I would go to Jack one day a month, then two days a month, then three days a month, then 10 days in a month, even though I was still running my own company. I would go to Jack and we would discuss the quality issue. That was the subject I was learning, especially what the Japanese companies were doing at the time. Um, Jack then said, let's go visit each subsidiary. And we did. And AFCO had their own private corporate jet. I never went on one before, but it was a wonderful experience for me, you know, to get on a jet and it takes you right close to where we're going. It was wonderful. We get to the company and we would meet with the president and his senior staff. And then Jack said to them, Don wants you to write a quality plan and submit it at the end of the month, in 30 days. Now, Don was the CEO of the company. He was the president. Jack didn't say, I want you to write the plan because they might not have listened to him. But he took the power of the pre he took the power of the president, something we rarely, rarely do to get actions done. We did this with each of the 10 companies. Then over the next 30 to 45 days, we received an extensive plan from that company how they're going to improve quality for the year. Then what Jack did, which was so clever, he took each plan and rep replicated it, duplicated it 10 times, and created 10 separate notebooks. Inside each notebook would, was everybody's plan. And then he sent it all back to them and said, Don would like you to read everybody else's plan, get ideas from each other, and rewrite your annual quality plan. And they did. Four years later, Jack Katzen becomes the Assistant Secretary of Defense, and he invites me to Washington to the Pentagon. When I get there, he brings me into a room, and the room is filled with generals and admirals. I was in the Army, but I never saw a general, <laughs> never before. In fact, we had to salute a general's car, even though the general was not inside the car. Then Jack introduces me to this room filled with these senior executives, senior officers. He said, I want you to meet Norman Bodek, the man that saved my company $400 million. That was an amazing moment. I'm sorry I don't have that on TV. What we did is just help them bring out the best of them and put the power of the president to make it happen. Thank you. Try it. Bye.